uh, what part of your body needs improvement? Oh, oh, getting you're getting dirty. You're getting you're, you're getting to the nitty gritty here. Mm, that's fair. Um, um, my body, um, I would say, uh, because I'm tall, um, my legs um, is something that I have to constantly kind of just like um, put some extra, some effort into because uh, my legs are so long. You know, it's uh, to keep them bulked up. Um, I gotta. In the gym, I gotta press some serious weight to get them uh, in order, and um, and sometimes I do, and sometimes you know it's nice to have like some long lean, lean legs sometimes too, you know. Uh, but my legs, because legs are hard to work. They you'll be sweating and you'll be like cramping up like in no time. So uh, my legs are 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 my my hardest working areas, like the hardest to work. Yeah, there you go. And what part is the most vulnerable? My heart. <laughs> A sensitive guy. <laughs> I know that was a workout question, but I throw that in there. <laughs> How's your love life? <laughs> um, I, at the moment, you know, um, I'm free like a bird, you can say. Um, just kind of living every day, one day at a time, uh, looking for that, that special lady out there. <laughs> okay, uh, do you have a nightlife? Nightlife, um, you know what, I'm most creative at night and um, a lot of times I'll spend my entire night writing music. It's uh, composing my own songs is one of my biggest, most largest passions in life. I have full control on creating a moment for someone and they hear it and it just takes them away to a different place and uh, takes me away as well. And when I finally reach that right melody, the right lyrics, the right guitar you know, pattern, it just all comes together and I could spend sometimes like, I can be up like all night long writing music because uh, it's what I do. That's kind of my nightlife. <laughs> what is the last thing you do before you go to the bed? Wash my face, brush my teeth, floss. <laughs> and the first thing you do? Uh, Would I wake up? Yeah. Um, uh, first thing I would do, yawn, <laughs> rub my eyes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. I like sometimes I like a cold shower in the morning. I'll, I'll I'll put on some warm water and then I'll just gradually get really cold and just like just I, I like that feeling, just like invigorating. Yeah, that's a good morning routine. Just a cold shower. Okay. Uh, I know that you are a big, uh, busy person. Uh, how do you cope up with stress? Ooh, stress. You know that's a killer out there. Everyone's trying to deal with that. Um, you know, what, like I said, my music, if when I start singing, I, I swear, like, my stress melts away. Like, uh, I could just go somewhere on a rooftop and just, like, all alone, and that is my stress, deal like, dealing. That's how I deal with my stress. I feel like if I didn't sing, uh, I might explode sometimes if I didn't just, like, vent. Like, you know, even if I just, like, sing anything that comes to my head, even if it's not the greatest thing, it just, like, I, if I, as long as I believe in it, I, I usually do because I just love it so much. That's my stress reliever. Can you name three women? Uh, that you find sexy? Okay, three women um, that I find sexy. Um, Sandra Bullock, for some reason, um, she always caught my eye in Miss Congeniality. <laughs> um, uh, it's a classic, I know. Um, then um, uh, after that, um, I find uh, Beyonce is very curvaceous and um, just uh, she's got a wonderful figure and a wonderful voice. And uh, because she's an artist, I kind of, you know, mm -hmm. she's kind of hooked me in with that. And one last lucky lady out there. Um, let me get a good one here. Um, uh, oh, the, man, I haven't thought of her in a long time, actually. But you know, the girl from Friends, actually, the, the first Friends. Um, I'm kidding. Venus Ra. Are you kidding me? She's, what a beauty. <laughs> Venus Ra. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, using only body language, how would you make a woman know that you like her? Mm, using body language? You do a wink. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. That's not smooth, man. You'll be hit, you'll be biting the dust. Um, you know, um, be a gentleman. You know, um, body language. Opening a door is enough of a body language. You know, um, smiling, uh, listening. You know, uh, you know when they're talking, just smile and nod and like uh, show them that you you understand or at least you're trying to understand because women are complicated. No, I'm kidding. You learned uh, some Tagalog songs. Uh, can you give us a uh, sample? Oh, right now? Okay. Yes. Well, I, I just ate a, a delicious meal. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, okay. I, I like it too. Can I hold the mic? Yes. Okay. This is Sanang Ayong Pasco, the chorus. 
Sana ngayong Pasko ay maalala mo pa rin ako Hinahanapan na pag-ibig mo At kahit wala ka na nangangarap at umaasa pa rin ako Muling makita ka at makasama ka sa araw ng Pasko. You can check that song on YouTube. Actually, I cover that. Um, and lastly, uh, may we hear your message to all your fans, uh, especially to the readers of Mabuhay Beauties. You guys have just been absolutely just so generous with me. You know, I felt like I gave, you know, my Filipino family in Montreal, they've supported me so much. And I gave, you know, an inch, and you guys gave me a mile. You know, I, I defended you from the Adam Carolla, you know, video, and then the, the comments, the, the love and support that I received was, in, was incredible. And Mabuha Beauties, um, I saw my videos, I, I believe got posted around that, around that area, and I had so many wonderful comments, and um, everyone, Mabuha Beauties, people who have been supporting me from the start. You guys are amazing. Um, I, I, you know, I have, I can't explain when you get a comment, you know, just one, just two, or as many as I have gotten, the, um, the way it feels to get that support, um, it's, it's irreplaceable. And uh, I love you guys with all my heart, sincerely. Thank you all very, very, very much for your, your sincerity and your, for your warmth. It's, uh, like I said, it's irreplaceable to me. Thank you very much. Thank you.